What's up guys? Welcome back to another episode of Quarantine Cuisine. If you guys are wondering why I'm in the same outfit, it's because I am and I haven't changed my clothes because due to this freaking virus, we are limited to who can come and go and on what days. So we're trying to film as much content for you guys as we can in one day. Today we are gonna make something that I make for my family that is fast, easy, and so inexpensive. It takes five ingredients and literally an Instapot that you can buy off Amazon. I got that off Amazon. I am like an Amazon junk. I love Amazon. If it wasn't for Amazon, I wouldn't be the housewife that I am. So anyways, we're gonna come over here and I'm gonna show you the recipes that you need for cracked chicken. Okay, so what you're gonna need to make this recipe is you're gonna need two pounds of chicken. You can do more. I'm just doing a smaller recipe today because I'm not feeding that many people. You need chicken broth. You're gonna need a packet of ranch. We use the packets of ranch or we also use this rock and ranch that we get. It has like less salt in it and it's healthier for you, especially for people who have blood pressure problems. You need a pack of Philadelphia cream cheese and that's a, a pack of any kind of frozen vegetables you want. It doesn't have to be this kind. You could put broccoli in here. You could put, I wouldn't put spinach. It would probably get smushy, but I would do something other. If you want something other than this, I would do like broccoli or carrots or something if you don't like peas. So first things first, we got to cook the chicken. We're going to go over here and wash it. And so I'm going to bring over my pot from the Instapot. And I'm kind of weird with chicken. I like cut everything off of it just because. So I'm going to go ahead and do that too. Always remember to wash your chicken. It's like washing your ass. You can't forget to do it, all right? You gotta do it. Nobody wants a dirty chicken. I'm just gonna cut off the fat and like the like nervy parts. I don't know about you guys, but I have a hard time if I catch a nerve in chicken, like I'll throw the whole entire thing away or anything that doesn't look appealing on the chicken. You just wanna make them pretty. There we go. So we'll throw this out. So you're gonna put the chicken that you just washed and cut up in your Instapot. I feel like fucking, what's her name? Rachel Ray. <laughs> I'm like the alternative Rachel Ray. You're gonna come back over here to your Instapot. You're gonna put your, I don't even know what this thing is called, but that thing, silver thing, you're gonna put that in there. You need to get, a lot of people just use water. I like to cook my chicken in chicken broth because I feel like it gives it more taste but you know, to each their own. If you wanna use water, you can. You're gonna do one cup of water or one cup of chicken broth. Slap that in there like that. And then you are going to put the lid on. Make sure it's sealed. You don't want it on venting. You wanna always turn this away from you so that it seals so that the pressure builds up. And you're gonna come over here and you're gonna hit pressure cook and you're gonna go all the way up to 20. You could do in between 20 to 25 minutes. I'm gonna do 22 minutes. So we're gonna let our chicken pressure cook and then we're gonna come back and check on it. All right, now we're gonna check on our chicken. It's done cooking. So we're gonna release the pressure and then I'm gonna come over here, grab a bowl to take the chicken out of and shred it. Once it clicks, you can turn and lift it. And then this is what the breasts look like when they're done. Wild in there, you gotta be careful. But we're gonna take it out, put it in the bowl here. And while we're shredding the chicken, we're gonna take some of these veggies and put them in the chicken broth to cook a little bit. And you wanna put this on saute, boom. You can also cook them in there with the chicken. I just don't because it makes them smushy. So I'm gonna just cook them in the bowl right here while we're shredding. So just mix them in there, let them start cooking. And then you want those to start boiling. Then you're gonna take two forks. I always see these cute things on YouTube and I need to get one for shredding chicken. But if you don't have it, a shredder, you can just go in like this with two forks and shred the chicken like this. And it just pulls apart being in the Instapot. This makes like the best boiled chicken ever. So good. Most people make cracked chicken with bacon. We don't eat pork in our house. And I just don't see the point of it because the bacon gets like really soggy but to each their own. Maybe you can add the bacon afterwards as like a topping or whatever, but I always leave that ingredient out. So we're gonna set this to the side and we're gonna wait till our, what do we have in here? We're gonna wait till our vegetables start fucking boiling. So we'll come back and check on them in about five minutes. All right, the veggies are done. <coughs> So we're going to leave it on saute because you want it to stay on saute. And if, don't be like me, don't use a fucking paper towel. That's how you know I'm real OG in the kitchen. Uh, drain your vegetables. Return this pot while it's still hot. 
And you're going to open up your cream cheese. Hopefully it's not as hard as the other one was. God, these are quarantine cheese, cream cheeses. And you're gonna plop that bad boy in there. And I like to put in a little bit more ranch seasoning than the packet, so, and this has no salt in it and stuff like that. I just like a little ranch flavor. Two shots of ranch seasoning. You're gonna put your chicken back in here. You're gonna dump everything back in here. And the veggies. And then you're gonna start stirring it and letting it all cook together. You're gonna start stirring everything around. And the cheese will start melting. And that's what you want is the cheese to start melting really well. You can turn this off now and just let the heat from it start Mixing it all together. And while it's melting still, put the lid on so that the heat will trap in there and melt everything together. Grab a half a cup or a whole cup of cheese. I'm gonna do a half. And you can do Parmesan cheese too. Parmesan cheese is really good in it. Can never have enough cheese. We love cheese, right daddy? And I like it a little more wet. So what I do is I just put a splash of chicken broth in there just to kind of moisten it up a little bit and then keep mixing. And then it just gets so pretty and adheres together. And you can serve this on top of pasta. You can make the potatoes in the air fryer, uh, oven roasted potatoes that Bailey showed you how to make. You can put rice with this. Like there's just so many options that you can do. All right, Shan, you ready to try this? And that's how you make cracked chicken. It's so easy, so simple, so fast. Tell me what you think. It's hot. <laughs> you like it? Yay. And you can make biscuits. Shan had a great idea. She said it's like chicken pot pie without the biscuit. You can make biscuits and put it on top. <laughs> you want some cracked chicken, Daddy? Or you want the Ruth Chris uh, chicken? Okay. <laughs> I'll give you some cracked chicken right now to hold you over. <laughs> Is it good? Oh, no, it's rich. Yay. Come get the dog out. Dude, he has been here the entire fucking time. He will not go away. Hey, let me make you a plate, daddy. Oh, here, I don't want to chase. Thanks so much. Okay. All right. Bye bye. <laughs> He's like Mr. Rogers. He just pops in from all sorts of d doors in the house and shit. And there you have it, guys. Thanks for watching. Let me know in the comments if you guys make this recipe and how your family likes it and what you guys want to see me cook next. Bye.